Welcome Young Teacher Academy at ngayon pag-aaralan natin how to get or how to find the GCF or the greatest common factor. So let us find the common factors and GCF of numbers using continuous division. So what is GCF? GCF is the greatest common factor. We use the GCF in finding our lowest term of a number, especially in fractions. So we have three ways on how to get the GCF. First is the listing. Second is the continuous division. And the third one is the factoring. But today, we will focus on continuous division. Given the number 8 and 20, we will think of a number that we can divide both 8 and 20. A prime number. Lagi natin gagamitin ang prime number. Since 8 and 20 is a prime number, even number, so we can divide it by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 20 divided by 2 is 10. Again, 4 and 10 is both even numbers. So we can divide it again by 4 divided by 2 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 2 and 5. Meron pa ba tayong pwede divide by 2 and 5? Wala na. So, we'll stop. Yung number at the left, i-multiply natin yan. So, we can say that GCF of 8 and 20 is 2 times 2 equals 4. So, 4 is the GCF or the common factor of 8 and 20. Okay, next example. 18 and 45. 18 and 45, hindi natin pwede divide by 2. Since 45 is an odd number. So, 18 and 45 is divisible by 3. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 45 divided by 3 is 15. So, 6 and 15. Again, we can divide it by 3. So, divide it. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So, 2 and 5. Wala na tayong pwede i-divide. So, stop na tayo. So, the GCF is 3 times 3. And 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Next example, 9, 15, and 39. So, 9, 15, and 39 is divisible by 3. So, let us divide. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 39 divided by 3 is 13. 3, 5, and 13. Let us think of a number that we can divide both 3, 5, and 13 without remainder. Is there any number that we can divide it? So, none. So, mag-stop na tayo. May mumultiply pa ba tayo? Wala na. So, the only GCF or the greatest common factor of, one, of numbers 9, 15, and 39 is 3. Another example, 14, 21, and 63. So, think of a number, a prime number that we can divide 14, 21, and 63. Is it divisible by 2? No. Is it divisible by 3? No, because 14 is not divisible by 3. How about 5? No, because the number are not ending in 0 and 5. Is it divisible by 7? So, yes. So, we can use it 7. 14 divided by 7 is 2. 21 divided by 7 is 3. 63 divided by 7 is 9. 2, 3, and 9. Is there any number that we can divide it without any remainder? Okay, not. So, we can say that the GCF is 7. Since we are done in our example, so here are the numbers, given set of numbers that you will find the GCF autonomy based on what you have learned in our discussion. Thank you for listening. Sana ay binatutunan kayo ngayong araw na ito. Huwag niyong kalilimutang mag-like at mag-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel. Bye!